What's good, bro? <clears throat> Welcome to another edition of the Question of the Week series. And I know we've been through a little bit of a hiatus, but we back in action. And this week, we got a good one, which is one. Our question is, what do you do or how do you know exactly when to go no contact rule? For example, I know a lot of guys where this question has been asked. And ultimately, what it comes down to is the fact of your lines of self-respects and boundary. It's it's kind of tough because, for example, I might have a friend of mine who says something along the lines of like, his girlfriend tends to disrespect him in certain ways. Like, for example, maybe he says something to her that this she doesn't like. And she expresses her disagreement by basically writing a text and then saying, like, whatever, later. And then maybe even sending an emoticon of some deuces, like a deuces emoticon. Something along the lines of that to where it's like damn like she just gave me a really fucking she just gave me an attitude to completely dismiss me and put you on no contact rule that's that is a perfect time to go no contact rule but at the same time it is difficult because for some guys they might let some things pass because it's just you know it's just more so not something that they've been taught is super disrespectful me me being that i grew up in the hood and whatnot you took that shit very seriously like any little thing that dude you know he he skips over you in line or he tries to take your shit you're constantly the lookout naturally from my background of like not being disrespected because the moment you let people disrespect you it opens you up for other people to disrespect you so that's just something that i learned from myself but that also is something that you learn from your parents and whatnot it's difficult for some guys because you're so nice or you're such a normal random dude that you don't really understand how ruthless chicks can be and ultimately your kindness can be taken for weakness so there's certain situations where you need to go no contact rule and it doesn't just involve your ex-girlfriend or getting your girlfriend back but moments in time where you feel like a girl is doing something where she feels like well, well, well one that you're disrespected obviously but also where it's almost something like she said she's done to previous boyfriends like if a chick throws a tantrum and she does it in such a manner where it's like wow this bitch has never been checked before and you can just tell you can just tell by the way she acts that she really has never been checked before and ultimately it comes down to your standards of comfort for example Yes, chicks are emotional, but that is also used as a clutch, as a crutch for them. They like they will abuse that shit. The same way a lot of Hispanic chicks, like if you notice a lot of Latinas or whatever the case is, what, what stereotype do they get? They get the whole crazy, oh, Latinas are so crazy. They're so jealous. And you know what happens? A lot of Latina girls will take that shit a lot of Hispanic girls will take that shit and they'll run with it. They'll start to act extra jealous or extra possessive because they feel like, oh, it's culturally accepted for them to be like that. They'll even brag. You know how many bitches these days say shit like, oh, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Hispanic girls love saying that shit and it's the corniest shit ever. And what happens is because guys joke about it, we take it in as some cultural norm. So eventually it becomes a normal thing and we start enabling these crazy bitches to do that shit. And ultimately that shit is awful, completely horrible. This shit, I can't. It's terrible, man. And when you give chicks a pass just for being emotional, it's the same thing. But at the same time, I don't always, you know, completely cut a chick off, no contact rule when as soon as she gets emotional. What it is, is a dis it's a respect thing. A girl can get emotional, okay? Obviously, you prefer not to let that shit get out of hand. But what it comes down to is, is she willing to cross that line of disrespect? For example, if you say something a little harsh to her, is she the type of chick to turn around and be like, oh, well, you're not even good in bed or you have a small dick or or some crazy shit like that where it's just like, whoa, how do you one second say do you love me? And then the next second you're telling me how my father doesn't love me or some crazy shit. You're like you're hitting deep when she's willing to cross lines that not like a stranger. Let me put it like this. If she does something where if a dude on the street who you didn't know said it to you and you punch him in the face, that's a big that's a big time you need to go no contact rule you need to take your time apart and not contact her that, that that's yo because that's the thing why do you even go no contact rule because ultimately women run on energy not logical words and whatnot so if you if she acts up and then you're rewarded by having some logical conversation and then everything's all good you didn't really teach her anything you can only teach women because they're such energetic emotional beings by taking away your energy by taking away those good emotions not by being butthurt and not by being angry either but by being completely neutral because the moment she acts up uh, and then you go okay yeah i understand but that's unattractive so i'm just gonna walk away and you're neutral and she cannot read you that's another big thing if she can't read you and she sees that you're unaffected and that you're just pulling away 
she's gonna be like, oh shit. She she she's gonna naturally start to be like, okay, I can't act up, I can't act up with this dude. This dude is not like other dudes. But there's also one thing I need to know. I want I want to just say as a last final note for this video. And if you're enjoying this video, you know, subscribe and comment below, hit that notification bell so you can join that notification gang. So with that being said, um, my last final note that I want to I want to note is some girls cannot be saved. Some girls cannot be saved by the no contact rule. Some girls have been conditioned their whole life from their family, their friends, to dates, even broken family home situations outside of things that you cannot control to the point where it doesn't matter how alpha you are, doesn't matter what P U what, what what techniques you run, what how, whatever unaffected. There's some chicks out there where they're just broken. They're just broken. No amount. You might be able to be alpha for a bit and ch and tame them for a bit, but eventually, once you start getting more serious with that girl, she gets more comfortable. I'm telling you, dude, you're not gonna be able to control that chick. Some chicks are just broken, and you need to know when it's the time to walk away because no contact rule isn't a guarantee. You might meet a girl where you do the no contact rule, and then she just does it again and again and again and again, and you realize this is a deeper character flaw that you cannot, you can't, you just can't interfere with that, man. You at the end of the day, you ain't Dr. Phil, man. You can't fix a, a whole lifetime of brokenness inside of a chick, and that is also something. That I need, I need, I want guys to know too, because there's also this idea that that this can solve everything, or that if you just, a lot of guys have this idea that if you're just alpha, you can check any girl. It's like, no, dude, there's some chicks out there, they have ADD, they are impatient, they are just way too conditioned to how, to just being spoiled brats. There's no amount of being alpha, being dominant, that's gonna be able to fucking tame that bitch. You might be able to tame her for a bit, long enough to smash the chick in that moment, that hot, sweaty moment, but eventually, man, that chick's gonna drive you fucking crazy, and that's not what you want. So with that being said, bro, thank you, man. Don't get caught slipping around these hoes, my friend. See you on the next episode.